Hi, welcome to today's Zodiac Reads and happy celebration day if you're over in America. We're going to celebrate today um, with also an oracle, oracle cards, life-changing events for each of our star signs. So do follow your sun sign, moon sign and rising sign. So let's start off with Aries, um, Aries, sun, moon or rising. So this is for Aries today on the 4th of July. Wow. Hopefully you're having a nice day off if you are off today celebrating. Let's have a look. For Aries. Aries. So three tarot. So for Aries at the moment, you do have the world. Now when we have the world, it means that there is an aspect where everything's come to a kind of com completion within your soul journey. So good time to realise that some of the lessons that we've learned through any of our situations in the past have been a great learning experience. And it also shows here for Aries that one has to really continue with this particular journey as well. So if there's a sense of completion with certain things, we, every time you pick up a new aspect within your life, kind of keep going, keep being determined to actually um, complete a certain journey. So it, it's an ever ongoing aspect with that. And you see here, if you do that, you do have the Nine of C, which is the wish card. So everything can come up roses for you. It's a satisfaction that your soul has learned so many lessons. And the past is definitely truly here in the past. When we have the nine of C here, it's like, what else can we go for? So this completion is always about one door shutting and another one opening. And sometimes there's more than one door. So you do have here with the nine of fire. So a lot of the times when we have that, it's very close to getting a kind of um, an overwhelmed sense of feeling. So a lot of um, you will be kind of be feeling left out. Um kind of an aspect where well what else is there so this is where the wish card comes in you know when we are granted three wishes within our life we need to make them very important to make them eternally so we don't just have three wishes we have an endless supply so a lot of the time this is about taking courage and going forward with the plan of what you do want within your life so it's a kind of an aspect where Taking charge, even when things have been difficult in the past, uh, that sense of completion is a sense of achievement. So emotionally for you, achieving and succeeding will allow that one step to go forward. Yeah. So the changing aspects within Aries at the moment. Let's have a look. So you do have leaving. So a lot of you might be leaving Whatever it is that you're leaving, whether it's relationships, jobs, ending of, you know, like going from 20s into 30s, 30s into 40s and leaving a sense of old behind and really embracing the new. You can see here this beautiful pink rose, you know, and it's like that unconditional love for ourselves. So it's almost like because you've got the nine of C, you've just gone through the eight of cups. And now you're embracing the newness of the situation. So learn to kind of adapt and um, continue on the path of success. But understand that you will be able to be more successful because your soul has learned certain lessons. Right? So hopefully that makes sense for Aries today. <laughs> right, the next sign is for Leo's. Let's have a look for Leo today. Leo sun, rising and moon. And a changing butterfly card. All right, this is for Leo's. Let's have a look for Leo. So for Leo's, your energies today is first of all five of sky. So this can be a little bit awkward um, at times. When we look at our thought process and people's kind of um, superimpose their own opinions onto us and kind of make a mountain of a, a molehill. Uh, so today don't allow people to take away your power. 
don't allow um, your thoughts of old come up and really interfere in your positivity and drive going forward. It's a good day to really realise that now is a chance to really gather in your inner strength to be able to say enough is enough. Um, I, I'm not putting up with this kind of behaviour. All right. Also, you do have the Six of Fire. So you can see here that you are a champion within your own kind of right of what you do want. This can be success, um, helped by those around us, whether it's uh, your team at work, your family, um, your friends, friends can help as well, really, really bring to light how successful you can be. So a lot of the times we need to only trust those uh, secrets that we want with people we fully trust, otherwise people take our power away. And it's like, oh, oh guess what? I'm going to leave work and I'm going to go self-employed doing this. And people go, no, that's a stupid idea. But they haven't got confidence themselves. Doesn't mean to say you haven't got the confidence. So success is uh, here for you with going forward with something that's going to improve your life. And you can see this, that you've just got to trust yourself, find that ambition, find that truth of um, curiosity. And trust in yourself and the universe to bring you this wonderful journey ahead, whether it's bringing happiness in relationships or career, self-employment, just doing really what you want, but really engaging in life as a whole beautiful experience of curiosity and wonderment and success. So I think that's wonderful for the Leos. About time, isn't it? <laughs> So maybe your solar return coming up, Leos, is really going to challenge things moving forward. So this is also for Leos about what changing up, um, aspects are in your life at the moment for some of you. All right, this is for Leo. So you have a new exercise program. Yay! So, you know, a lot of people think of, oh, I can start a new hobby maybe going rock climbing, scuba diving, whatever it is, um, and even starting your own yoga class online or whatever it is. But I think that's really exciting to do that and give yourself that confidence, which I'm sure you've all got anyway. <laughs> so that's for Leo. So next we'll do Sagittarius today. Sagittarius, sun, moon and rising. Let's have a look. So this is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon and Rising signs for Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Happy 4th of July. Right, Sagittarius, you do have Six of Earth. Great card to be um, receiving. It's almost like the asking card, asking of your higher self, giving yourself permission to receive. So when we do that, the universe always has to cooperate. Our free will determines what we're asking for. So sometimes we have to get that strength and courage and self-value to actually ask. If we don't ask, we don't receive. So it's important to, that, to have your good intentions, not only for yourself, but for other people as well around you. <laughs> Also, you got the chariot. So things are moving forward quite swiftly for yourselves. And this is success. This is a kind of a yes card. So if you're wondering where you are today and you're thinking, hmm, um, do I need a lot of positivity um, answers within myself? As long as your heart and mind is in the same direction, you'll find this Cancerian energy really powerful in looking at your own environment within your home and within your, your love life as well. So love life can be appreciation of ourselves moving forward and really appreciating that you also want that perfect relationship perhaps. Um, so really moving forward, having that drive, that willpower, that determination and asking for it, you know. Uh, you do have the three of fire, so you're well on your journey and depending on how... You know, some people like the scenic route when they're on this travelling journey. And some people like to go in the fast lane. But what is clear for you guys is that you you are on the path. You are on the journey and it's being recognised. And your, your success is definitely going to get in whatever you do want, bringing it home. All right. So also let's have a look at your butterfly. 
the butterfly of change, the transformation in Sagittarian's life. Okay, so let's have a look. This is for Sagittarius. So what aspects for Sagittarian do we need to know? Forgiveness. This is great. We always need to forgive ourselves and our situation and also other people. We can't expect success to come to us if we haven't forgiven uh, the past completely. You know, just let it go. Uh, it, it's made us who we are, but is it still holding us back? So when we've got that forward thinking and waiting for things to come in, are we self-sabotaging it and blocking it if we don't forgive the space-time aspect? All right. So Sagittarian, that's a good aspect. Forgiveness, always a good thing to do. <laughs> No matter what the star sign you are. <laughs> right, so let's move into the water signs now. And Pisces, thanks for being here, guys. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon and Rising. For Pisces. Right, let's have a look at Pisces. Pisces, this is for Pisces. Sun, Moon and Rising. For Happy Fourth of July. <laughs> Pisces, you've got this strength card. So the strength card is always a great card, simply to be able to move through a, an abundance of feelings of confidence, strength, character, wellness. All this, the, all these things can make the productivity and motivation really come to light. So it's okay being very gentle on the inside. But we need that kind of exploration to be able to really explore our environment at the moment. And sometimes we become demotivated through whatever reason, shape or form. It's hard to get motivated sometimes on a Monday <laughs> when you've had the, the weekend and celebrating all sorts of things going on. But Monday, now's the time to kind of pick ourselves up and start. We are, you know, heading very nicely um, into July with it being 4th of July. So what else can we achieve this year? You know, that's the courage, the determination you can actually do. So one has to really look at things in a kind of way where you can make a change and the stability in that change will probably last if you give yourself a chance. You've also got the uh, Fire Guardian. So this is a good card to actually realise that you can do anything. You've got the motivation, you've got the fire and that drive. But the desire as well to succeed is always on the cards for you. So this is an opportunity to really embark on your wishes, your desires, the determination and allow it to actually develop more. So this is perhaps where you may have been holding back. This is say own it. Own, own your wish, your desire and who you are in a bigger way than ever before. And of course, you have the Hermit. So taking time to really develop who you are, um, because sometimes when we have gone through certain changes, um, you know, in the past, what we've had things fall away, we, we've embraced things new, and now we might be wobbling a little bit of who we actually are. So this takes courage to de and determination to wonder where our spiritual self, our soul journey is actually taking us. So we do need time to just reflect on who we are and how we're going to deal with this. So it's all right, everyone's saying, oh, we should be doing this or that and, and the run of the mill, the sameness. But this might not suit everyone all of the time. You might want to do your life particularly different. So that's fine. So reflecting on these things is, is going to take the um, kind of, strength of character but also looking at the responsibility to yourself uh, for your better good and all those around you so that, that's a kind of um, important aspect and maybe we'll see in the transformation cards uh, with the butterfly Pisces just what that kind of is so sometimes it's exciting to change some people want that change so you're gracefully aging <laughs> Wow. So a lot of the time we need to understand that we do change and each decade that we're alive, we do change our different viewpoints of things. But sometimes we get caught up 
in looking good, losing weight, uh, because society says um, to do X, Y, and Z. So it, this this is very much about self acceptance and just re really realizing that what's important to you um, today might not be important later on. So yeah, <laughs> so just reflecting on those kind of things will bring to light a whole new way of thinking. So thank you, and this is for Cancerians. So let's have a look at Cancer. Cancer in Moon, Sun and Rising for Cancerians. Happy 4th of July people for Cancer. Right, this is for Cancerians today. So <clears throat> you've got the Ace of Sea, which is like the Ace of Cups. So forgiveness is always a good thing, that self-love and that ever, um, you know, fulfilling cup of youth. And it's almost like the Holy Grail. It's, it's unconditional spirituality of love coming to us. And well, when it's all around, we have to tap into it. And that is the love factor. It means that's an endless supply. The sea always comes in and then it goes. It doesn't really go. It's always there. So it's like those emotions, that love, it's always present, but we need to tap into it. So this is for you, the opportunity of love, self-forgiveness and self-awareness. Right, Cancerians? And also you have the calling, <laughs> which is great. So like I said before, the forgiveness, and this is very much in this particular card, because it's reassessing, starting again, really looking at... Um, that rebirthing situation it's the change that's taken place it's the forgiveness of self and all situations that improve our life so today's a new day it is time to celebrate um and and it, this gives you a sense of freedom to be able to go right yeah i don't have to allow uh, my past to negatively affect me today this is a new day it's a new moment i'm now going to practice living in the moment for cancerians you do have the eight of earth so focusing on the most practical aspects within your life so maybe having that new appreciation for yourself will bring a sense of value self-respect and money so w with money comes career um, jobs and how you actually see yourself improving within these areas so a lot of the times we do have to focus a little bit more on that to be able to achieve what we do want. And it is Monday. <laughs> so let's have a look. So let's have a look, Cancerians, what kind of focus or changing aspects we're transforming into for Cancer. Right, so this is for Cancerians today. Spiritual growth. So that Ace of Cups or Ace of Sea was a great card for you to actually realise that that spiritual energy and growth is always there. So when we work on ourselves, we're improving things and that's where the abundance come and the practicality of it, the Eight of um, Pentacles is bringing that focus. So, you know, it, it, there's a lot of things within our spiritual self that we can grow on and self-accepting that we are a wonderful being <laughs> and the opportunities are endless for us and especially if we've got the everlasting love for ourselves from the above we can't go wrong it's just a learning experience <laughs> so yeah so make the um, opportunity of the new day count by learning to spiritually and soul connect to yourself and see the wonder the wonderment of a gift before you brought Cancerians. That's very good on your solar return on your birthday. So, <laughs> right, so let's have a look at Scorpio. This is for Scorpio. Scorpio rising, sun and moon. For Scorpios. This is for Scorpios. Right, Scorpio, at the moment you do have also the Ace of the Sea. 
So water signs are really present at the moment in bringing self-awareness, self-love, forgiveness and spiritual energy into the life. It's like the opportunity. We never know what the sea is going to wash up. So the new opportunities can be love, career, all sorts of things. It really can. But what we do have to see is loving ourselves to be able to recognize those opportunities and especially emotional ones. So when our cup is full of stagnant water, we need to uh, wash it in the sea, cleanse ourselves and really notice that things can be improved when we allow them. So giving yourself permission, that's about that self-forgiveness and really seeing those great opportunities around us. How wonderful, like Christmas <laughs> when we liked it. So you've also got the lovers, yay! So why don't you Scorpios make love a priority this is always about that loving um, decision of a higher aspect than before so the, with the ace of sea that is that spiritual energy coming in choosing a higher love that connection that really connected soulmate so this can have a kind of Gemini spin on it so when we're kind of in a conflict within our heart or in a mindset, we've got to say, well, what is our soul path? Um, and does this feel right for us? So this is where the forgiveness is of self and moving on. You've also got the nine of earth. So being independently, really feeling that love for yourself may take a little bit of time, but it's almost like for you to really know that the direction where you're feeling is good for you. So this opportunity to move through the rest of the year, as long as you're doing something with inspiration of the heart and desire, then things will definitely improve for you 100%. <laughs> and we can see that, guys, for Scorpio, with this lovely um, changing transformation of the butterfly. For Scorpio, let's have a look. See your transformation... Scorpios. So Scorpio, you do have decisions. So yeah, we, we knew that anyway. <laughs> That's what the lovers said. Decisions. So higher decisions. So it's always best to go with your intuition when making decision. So being still when we have to make a decision and keep asking us the question, is this right? Should I leave my job? And just leave it. Trust yourself. Should I end this relationship? Should I start a new relationship? Should I move abroad? All these important decisions is life-changing moments. So when you do have the lovers and you did have, was it the Ace of Sea, guys? <laughs> um, yeah, this is all about self. So the self-love that you bring within this decision is obviously going to benefit everyone in your family and around you. So don't make decisions, well, I can't do this because of this person. It's like when you're doing things um, to make yourself happy, then you're doing the right for everyone else. And you'd be an inspiration as well. So that's job done. <laughs> so that's for Scorpios. That's a nice, that's, there's some nice energies today. Scorpio. Moving on to air signs now, guys. Aquarius. This is for Aquarius, Sun in Aquarius, Moon and Rising. This is for Aquarius. So Aquarius, your energy today is to a fire. So as you can see, it's the opportunity of which direction. What's out there? What happens if I take the red pill or the blue pill? <laughs> what decisions do we go along this path? So opportunities do present everybody every single day. But when the universe is saying, wow, the doors are opening to many, many possibilities, it's like opening up our eyes and going, yeah, you know, filling my day with motivation, desire and my life's path. When things are complicated, they're not really. You're always going to be guided to make that decision on what route to actually take. So 
you know, it, this this will come to you because there's opportunities. And you do have the hermit. So, like I said, the, the decision will come to you, especially when you really go inside and really ask of yourself, what, what direction are you going with? So the energy isn't stagnant, it's a, a, of a kind of determination to go, right, okay, I'm, I want to wake up. I want to wake up and realise that, you know, life is short. And when life is short, we need to make um, a direction instead of procrastination. But this is important to really see within yourself what is the best thing for yourself before making those decisions. You do have the earth puppy. So seeing things perhaps on a career level, how you do make money, seeing the value of yourself. So depending on how you do value yourself will be how long you're going to make these decisions going forward. But it has got an aspect of um, value, self-respect and, and really connecting to your soul. Because your soul is here to learn certain things, just like this little curious puppy. So everything around it is a learning experience. And that's what we say this earth is all about, the learning experience. So learning about um, what direction to go and what is, is there. It is, you know, a soul direction. So no matter if the direction is difficult or not, it's still about your soul growth. All right. So for Aquarius, let's see what your butterfly message is. What are you transforming into? <laughs> Right, let's see today what's going on for Aquarius. So, oh, adult children. <laughs> That's interesting. So some of you might already have children and they're adult children. Or sometimes, um, yeah, you know, it can be about aunties and uncles and things like that um, of said parents. And, you know, the dynamics within um, relationships, it's always interesting when we reflect that back to us. And so a lot of the time we look at our parents uh, as adult children and we go, well, I wonder how their life was and when they were at our age, um, what, what decisions did they have to make and, and where did they have to go? And it's a time to reflect. It's not a time of judging or criticizing, well, they did that, so I should be there. It's really realizing that um, everybody is a child. <laughs> so, so it's it's like, um, you know, like um, if you've got children yourself and they're grown up, you kind of know that you always see your children as your children. It doesn't matter what their age. So it is a determination. What well, we all need that parenting skills. So when you have that hermit, it's going in and trying to nurture your soul into where things go. So remember you're in a child and remember to kind of um, develop a sense of um, encouragement um, because it's very hard when we're facing that level of, ooh, ooh, where do we go? And um, just give that yourself a pat on the back and a little bit more guidance to get there. <laughs> Does that make sense? Right, thank you, Aquarius. Next, we go on to Gemini. So this is for Gemini, rising, Gemini, uh, um, sun, rising, and moon. For Geminis. <clears throat> so this is for Geminis with your butterfly message as well. So let's have a look for Geminis. What do Geminis need to know today? Happy 4th of July, everyone. Some people celebrate that and other people don't know what it is. Oh. Right. Um, so, Gemini, you do have the uh, four of Earth. So a lot of times when we get this, it means that we have enough, but we don't. We It's still a poverty of thinking of not sharing ourselves. So... <laughs> It is a poverty of thinking when we keep things to ourselves, whether we don't want to share our opinion or, or our, our love with someone. So we can sit there trying our very best um, to hold back on saying to the person, oh, I like you. Um, <laughs> so it's, it's just like a stalemate. Um, so you never really get uh, to the point of, of complete honesty because we're holding back. 
It's the same with, with all sorts of things. If we don't go after our, our dream job or our dream situation, it's our sense of poverty and holding back. So ask yourselves honestly today, what am I holding back? What am I preventing myself from having or giving or receiving? All right. So you do have the strength card. So you have to have that kind of gentleness within yourself to go after what it is that you want. And holding back, you'll find, isn't the way to do it. Uh, so it's that strength to actually commit. It's that strength to actually trust. So having that inner strength will always win the day. You know, when you tr truly believe in yourself. And here with the three of sky, you can still see perhaps that that's pain and that's why you are holding back a little bit. So I always see this card as, as the emotional crying card that the universe is saying, hey, have a little cry, get rid of that pain, and you'll be able to see clearer that you can trust the universe. We're trying our very best, says the universe to you, to allow you to have the grace things in life. But when you're blocking it and filled up with pain, you can't see. And you need to get rid of that in such a, a way to provide you. So take courage to let down that kind of toxic um, energies within ourselves. To have a good cry and let it all out. It is important. So letting go of the pain. Don't hold on to pain. Mm. So also you have your butterfly message, Gemini. Just to help further what's going on within your life. So this is for Gemini. Right, Gemini, a dietary change. This might, might cheer you up a little bit. <laughs> Sometimes, um, because the human body is made up of all sorts of chemicals and uh, very complicated stuff. And um, sometimes we're missing certain elements and vitamins and minerals that causes um, all sorts of things within us. So when we have the dietary change, we can suddenly energize ourselves in such a way that cutting out something or adding something into our diets will allow ourselves to see value of ourselves and be able to see a different us. So just by cutting out something that's not very good for us um, and adding something else that is really good for us is going to pay dividends. So when it's summertime, we can all go outside and get some vitamin D, the immune system uh, vitamin. <laughs> So that's like a dietary change. So there you have it. And let's do Libras now. Libra, sun, moon and rising for Libra. So this is for Librans today. Let's do Libra, sun, rising and moon on the 4th of July. Happy 4th of July, guys, if you celebrate the 4th of July. If you don't, just celebrate the day as a gift. Right, Librans, you have the fire of male. This is a really good young energy today to really rule, be responsible for who you are and getting things done. Be motivated, have the desire, know that you're in charge of your own life. The decisions you make, the feelings that you're feeling, it's not down to anybody else. It's how we choose to focus on ourselves that brings us to whether we're angry, frustrated, in love. <laughs> so this is the responsibility of who we are as people and really owning who we are. You also get the four of sky. So this is resting your mind about certain things. So if you are waiting for a certain communication from people or a situation, know that you're responsible for your feelings. So a lot of the times we need to just meditate, really understand our own desires, motivation, and how we're going to move through our life. But this is not necessarily about action today. It's more about taking that time off to really go, I, I'm in charge. Yeah, I'll move when I want to. <laughs> you know, it's kind of go. Sometimes um, it's less haste, more speed. So it means that things will go faster if we actually contemplate where we are going within our situations. And where are you going? Mm. 
here. You've got the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands is a great card because it means building up those happy um, occasions within life. Engagements, marriages, new homes, celebration of births, all things like that. It's like the huge portal door opening. So the responsibility is down to you, how you make your life. A lot of people go, well, am I going to hear from the Yanks? Am I going to have my soulmates? Am I going to have my dream job? Am I going to move? Now, now when the King of Cups, uh, the King of um, Fire comes along, it says you're in charge. What are you doing to actually make these wonderful things happen? So this is about the gratitude card um, to actually say, are you happy with where you are now? It's no good kind of contemplating in a negative way about why haven't I got this? What was my home? You know, I've been trying for so long and where is it? <laughs> you know, or why haven't I got married yet? Where's my soulmate? We have to be grateful for who we are to be able to uh, really make those great things happen. And we can see this with the butterfly for yourselves. Let's have a look. So this is going to bring a sense of Mm, parental care now that's interesting for you guys a lot of the times um when we have parents we, we need to care for them so the changes that happen um is buying new homes for them and, and really accommodating whether we're taking in our parents or or whatever but we always need to have a look at how we are looking after our parents or you know us as parents with our own children and it's a kind of cycle that does need it's a fact of life that um, some of you do have parents and some of you are going to have to think about how you're going to see them in their old age and how you're going to look in your age so it is an important aspect um, and that four of wands is almost like building that environment that's safe for all in, in concern the whole family really does that make sense <laughs> right <sighs> interesting right so now we're on um librans i think <laughs> i've lost the plot right i think we're on librans <sighs> right this is what did we just do Libra? i can't remember now right this is for librans <laughs> If we just done Libra, you've got a double dose here. <laughs> I lost the plot with that one. Right, this is for Libra. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon and Rising. For Librans. Right, Librans. <laughs> Number two. Right, okay, so this is a good card for you, Librans, because the charity is about moving. So when we're moving, we're always looking at change, and change is always a good thing. So sometimes we need our mindset and our heart in the same direction. If, if you're kind of pulling in the wrong direction, uh, or, or two different directions, especially with partners or ideas, then you're just going to be chasing your tail and not getting anywhere. So this is all about the environment of your home and how you feel towards spouses or, you know, including a spouse. Uh, so these things are a really great thing. It's got a cancerian energy to it. So a lot of the times we can portray, portray one thing and really uh, um, feeling another. So re really be truthful about your feelings at the moment, Librans. You do have the three of sky, so some of you might be getting a little bit upset inside that things aren't moving quickly enough, uh, which is fine, 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 fine. <laughs> but sometimes we have to let go um, the pain, the, the toxic uh, pains from the past in before we do move on completely. So to be able to get that home life perfect, and we need to release the pain. Uh, so having a good cry and really realise that you might still be a little bit stuck um, about your home life, um, relationships and things like that. So just to be a little bit more sensitive towards yourself, a little bit more trusting that things do need to 
uh, move on and move on they do you've got the sunshine <laughs> so make hay while the sun shines this is a very positive card along with the chariot so it, it's a message for you guys to put things in the balance like Libra's do and see the justice of the situation if you're still holding on to pain the exes or oh why haven't i got my dream job i was supposed to, i've really manifested that and it's not happening one has to realize that sometimes your own soul has already done its plan but we get knocked here and there and everywhere so the sun is like that whole creativity and spiritual energy of where you are going and what direction you need to go so just trust yourself get rid of all idealistic thoughts about x y and z and really be innocent and free and, and you, you know you can create your own life but that motivation and desire definitely has to be there in a more positive light all right for libra also you have a butterfly <laughs> let's have a look at librans what is changing within your life so this is for librans This is for Librans today. Okay, for Librans, you have keep the faith. Keep the faith. So whatever you're trying to focus on, especially on a spiritual level, about moving forward, then understand that it, timing means nothing. I know it does to you, but it means nothing. It's like if you look back to when you were a baby, which you probably can't do, but where's that time gone? <sighs> what happened 10 years ago? Can you grasp that? It's, it's non-existent, is it? So when you're thinking, oh, this should have happened now, and da 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 da, -da and do a mind game, it's just destroying our mind. So we have to keep the faith in the ability of what's going to happen in a more positive way. All right, so tip of the day. <laughs> On the butterflies not me right okay so now we're on the earth signs capricorn taurus and virgo so first of all we're doing capricorn so this is for capricorns rising sun and moon do check out the rest of your star signs in your rising and moon sign this is for capricorns so capricorn so you do have the sea puppy oh so when we have that innocence um we have new life and understanding uh, that we need to look at all sorts of uh, emotions learning compassion and empathy and love of self and learning that the world is all oyster literally so all these opportunities of self-development and developing with other people is there it also shows that we can socialize a lot more and understand from our friends and family and strangers uh, within these scenes so when we when we're trying to learn some of our lessons in life we meet certain people certain situations to reflect back what we're supposed to be learning so that the sea puppy is always going to be curious about their own emotions right <laughs> capricorn you also have the fire guardian so finding that um, in a um, seed of um, motivation seed of desire um, will allow you to really experience life in its fullest and really take charge so it's got that fire energy that yang that motivation in actually looking at how you can develop a new way of thinking feeling and actually doing all right so it's more of um what can you bring to the table what can you bring to your life and with the eight of earth it's uh, very much about concentrating focusing on learning something new so when we get the sea of puppy it's what have you always wanted to do maybe you've wanted to do painting but never been you know the opportunity maybe you didn't have the money to do that so learning something completely different will allow you to be inspired and have the imagination that can spark something else and a lot of the time when we start new courses or different events we meet different people and one thing leads to another so staying focused learning and and honing our skill set um whether it's just learning about who we are as people 
to be able to motivate it to actually do certain things is, is a good skill to actually have. And let's see what's transforming for Capricorn in your butterfly messages. Right, this is for Capricorn today. Capricorns. So, Capricorn, you have moving. Oh, great. So, sometimes you can move physically, um, move house, move jobs, move, move relationships. Moving um, is that kind of seed of hope to kind of motivate us to move forward. So, focusing, we have to do. If you do want to start something, a new course or a new job, you have to motivate yourself to actually move and transform. So sometimes we, um, if we feel we're a little stagnant and stuck and we don't know the first step to actually do something, just by being physically active and moving, whether it's dancing, um, going to the gym, you know, just doing anything will help us, you know, shake things up literally. So we are, 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 we are able to get that motivation. To move forward. <laughs> Capricorns, right, now we're on Taurus. So this is for Taurus. Taurus on the 4th of July. Sun, moon and rising for Taurus. Let's have a look for Taurians today. For Taurians. This is for Taurians. So Taurus, the first energy today is the shaman. So Taurus, it's really good to connect to that spiritual essence of who you are, but also going to look at how you were brought up, the morals, the teachings, maybe that religious teaching, um, maybe re-listening re to our parents, things like that, and, and seeing whether it's still applicable our spiritual side is different from our religious and cultural side, even though it's entwined. So th this is a good thing to find a new way of, of um, developing that kind of spiritual side where you are learning all the time, but also unlearning as well. So the, there's two sides of a coin, what we fill ourselves with and we think that's the right way. Sometimes um, as adults we think, is this right for me now? You know, I'm an individual. Maybe it's it's a new direction I have to go. So finding that um, inner teaching is probably a good thing. All right. So it's kind of looking at two aspects, two sides of the coin and really balancing it out. And Taurus, you also have the five of earth. So this is like a healing card as well. And traditionally in Rider Waite, um, the healing... Um, the ill people are passing the church. So it's almost like maybe you've turned away from a kind of spiritual side and it's, it's now time to reconnect to that. Um, just to heal your soul, your spirit and, and retouch into those aspects. Because when we turn away from the bigger things within our life that we can't see inside of us, um, we, we, you know, it, it does cause certain disharmony. So moving towards uh, godliness and on our spiritual side is perhaps a good thing for the soul. <laughs> and then you've got the nine of sky. So this is all about um, fear. And um, so you can have a look at what um, is fearful about what we've learned as children, as, as adults about what we think is going to happen. Uh, the bigger questions within life. Um, about heaven, earth, hell, da, 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 da. and is it just explain tra words trying to explain something? So when we have the nine of sky here, a lot of times we are fearful because you know we've got those emotions and thought process of what's happened in the past. So we need to rise above that and see the reality of the situation. If we scare ourselves with our minds, causing drama then that's just the nature of the mind. It doesn't mean to say it's true. So we must go within and really be more gentle and more loving. True spirituality comes from love, plain and simple. It doesn't come out of fear. So when we fear something, we're not in a loving state. 
so that we can bring that to the mundane aspect about if we're not trusting your situation to work out it means we're not loving ourselves more so it all comes down to love every single time whether we're moving away from love or actually embracing the love of um aspect was a little bit too deep for today right let's find your butterfly uh what changes for taurians right this is for taurians today right transforming for taurians you have family changes so asking the bigger picture when families do change whether we have the additions of baby or we lose our parents or somebody else within that that is a family change so it, it it's kind of a little bit of a shock sometimes and that's why we do question the bigger picture especially when family members get taken away and we think well we get through all those stages of anger frustration disbelief etc etc so family changes, whether we lose or gain, it's always good to ask the bigger questions within our lives. <laughs> I'm going to leave it there. We don't want to get too deep. <laughs> Ooh, already done that. Haven't I? Right, okay, so next is Virgo, our last sign of the day. Happy 4th of July, guys. Uh, this is for Virgo rising, Virgo sun and moon. Do check out your other uh, signs rising and moon and sun so this is for virgo today this is for virgo so virgos so messages of the day for virgos first of all you have the two of sea oh how lovely oh wonderful when we have the two of sea it's the two of cups so it's about questioning those partnerships, finding that love connection, finding our soulmates. But above all, it's the healing card. It's bringing two energies together to be like one. So it's what we're attracting on an emotional level that's causing that healing aspect. So when, when we looked at ourselves with the Ace of Cups and then we move on the Two of Cups, it's like double amount of love <laughs> sharing so this is a good day for you to really share what you are trying to connect with hopefully it's for your highest good and the good intention of others as well so give yourself a pat on the back because um this is more more to do with the love connection with everything so you can just go you can go throughout the day with rose tinted glasses on I dare you. <laughs> um, and a lot of you might be going through this as well, which is the eight of C, which is moving towards a higher love um, and a higher understanding. So the eight of C is moving away from something which isn't serving you, like old relationships, old job situations, anything that's preventing you from finding this huge, beautiful connection, whether it's with another person or just reconnecting with yourself and your life's purpose. And in order to do that, we must walk away from something that's creating a lot more drama than it should do. And then you have the Sagittarian energy of temperance, which is that change. So you guys know that you have to change. This is all about changing one thing into something better, led into gold, the alchemy of change. So as you can see by this card, it's a balance. It's about moving towards your future in a more positive way. Do you see the rainbow? <laughs> Pot of gold at the end. Also that happy times as well. So in order to actually want what most of the people want, perfect relationships, soulmates, perfect job, you know, all that, one has to make a change. And that change, guys, is moving away from something that's not serving you emotionally. It is plain and simple, isn't it, really? But let's have a look at your butterfly for the 4th of July. What's changing for Virgos? So, for Virgos hopefully you've watched the other signs that you are moving yes you've got to move <laughs> moving emotionally away from what's no longer serving it is plain and simple like that if we're sticking with the old we're not embracing the new and and that's your message virgos 
It's like, do you want the new? Well, move away from the old. Otherwise, there's no room for both. All right, it's, it is. I know that's short and sweet, but I can't, I can't give you the message any clearer. <laughs> move away from the old. Thank you, guys. Have a great 4th of July, and we'll see you all soon. Lots and lots of love to you all. <laughs>